Did you know there's a Vanos filter? I didn't know that. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Donahue and this is the driver's apex and let's get this filter changed. All right guys, here's your Vanos filter. It's right here. It's a 22 mil to socket, get it off. Uh, and there you'll see uh, the Vanos pressure piece, two O-rings and the filter. Don't freak out if the filter um, breaks on you. It's not that difficult to get off. There are two O-rings in there, just pull it out clean up everything and put it all back together. So I'll show you how to get all that done. The big tool that you need is a 22 mil socket. This is a half inch. Let's get our socket wrench. And I looked this up, it's 20 foot pounds, the torque. And when I was breaking that loose, I could definitely feel there's a little bit behind it. Pull the socket out. We'll put it somewhere where there's not metal. There might be a little bit of oil that comes out. Let's see if we can get a good. It actually looks really clean, and I would gather someone has done this before. So I know this filter must be removed. This O-ring must be removed, and there's an additional O-ring that must be removed. Let's wipe this down, but I don't want to wipe the filter down too much because I want to see what it really looks like. It should just pull out. All right, this is sketchy, man. So this here, it feels like plastic, but apparently that is where this O-ring goes. That just feels strange to me. Well, we know this one goes up there, which is fine. We should get a little bit of oil. I can use a little Vaseline to get that on there. That's a little tricky. Make sure I'm careful with this. I've had bad luck lately with seals, like O-rings. Let's do this. Just trying to walk it like around. There we go. Okay, so that's on there. That's not too hard. But that one, that is weird. What I might do is look at real OEM 
because I want to make sure that this indeed is removed. All right, so I did some digging. Let's see here. That, this does indeed go here. What I did was I went on real OEM. This is like 228 bucks. It's super expensive, so I don't want to screw it up. But then what I did was I put the part number in, in Google, ECS popped up, and I could tell that that O-ring goes here. This looks to me as if it's just flattened out over the years. So this indeed does need to be removed. Now what I don't want to do, I don't want to use a pick tool and really try to get this out because I don't want to cause any damage to here or to really to this white washer here. I think what I'm going to do, and I got to do this as carefully as possible, is try to score this. I can tell it's rubber now, now that I'm in here. There we go, I can feel it, there we go. I think that was a better way of removing this. It's just lightly putting a, a cut in it. Wow, not gonna lie guys, that was a little uncomfortable to do. It's almost like surgery. Okay, so now let's clean that up. What I'll use is a little Q-tip. Okay, so now that one's done. So that O-ring was really flat. Let's see if we can get a comparison here. It's hard to see, isn't it? Let's see here. So yeah, so the one on your right or my left, that's flat. You can really see that it looks like a ring and then that's more like an O-ring. Okay, so now let's get this one back on and then all we gotta do is just put the cartridge filter back on. One hurdle. Now I've got the next hurdle. I'm not gonna lie, like it's not easy in the least. I think we got the first part. There we go. Okay, so that is now on there. So I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna put the filter on, which I had somewhere, which you guys all saw in the intro. All right, so that's that's good. So this must go on first, obviously, and then this one goes on next. This is weird now. There's like all this play uh, compared to that stock one. Well, not the stock one, but whatever was there before. But it was just really plasticized. All right, so yep, so there's the part number. Or you can just get it as, as an entire like unit. So here's like how it came. And that's what you're looking for right there. It's like 45 bucks. But $45 or a destroyed Vano system. Hmm. Yeah, right? So this appears to just click right there and then that open end. If you compare it to the squished, right? That should go there. So I guess what I need to do is be incredibly careful snapping that back onto place because it's not going to go in that way, right? I'm wondering if I shouldn't even add just a little bit of a lube. I've been kind of learning lately just to lube things up. It makes life so much easier. All right, good. And that is on. So now it's nice and clean looking. But yeah, that I can definitely tell right there, yep, you can see it. That is definitely not for me. That was already there. And I imagine that was someone using a pick tool or something to get in there. So as you can see, I've already cleaned here. Just a little bit of brake clean on some Q-tips and clean. And then here are the three Q 
Q-tips that I used. That's how much dirt that I got. I think I got those at Harbor Freight or something. They've been really, really helpful. Good. I didn't feel any binding. We're going to torque this to 22 foot-pounds. You can see all this is put back together, but I still have an O-ring, and I've ordered it. It's coming from Pelican. We're just going to pull this back off. I'm just not comfortable with the teeniest of nicks. But, yeah, Vaseline is your friend when installing those O-rings. I don't think I was recording, but what I did was this is on. You can see it blinking right there. 20 foot pounds, so just torque, 20 foot pounds, and you are done. All right, guys, I'm gonna make this closing really quick. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. There's a lot more new content coming soon. E46 M3, it's gonna be on the road doing a lot more fun stuff, but before I do that, I'm gonna have the bumper removed, painted, and sent over to my friends at Aesthetic Auto Spa to have it PPF'd. E30, we're gonna get the air conditioning uh, taken care of, but before I do that, I'd really like to remove the engine and refresh it because I think I've got some valve stem issues happening. In this particular video, I kept it long for a reason so that you can see kind of the quirks and stuff of that with replacing this filter. I think you should probably replace this filter every 30 to 40,000 miles, that being the same time frame that you do valve adjustments on this car. BMW engineers included this filter for a particular reason. I don't know what that was. There's an oil filter in this car. You would think that would capture most of the impurities, but they probably felt that the Vano system needed its own little filter as well. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you like this video, and I will see you next time.